Well, hello, good people, and welcome back to the channel. Today's a very special Tuesday. I had already planned on posting two new reviews for TV shows this evening, but with all the Sabrina and Walter discussions going on for the past few days, I've decided to make this video the first of three videos for the evening. So for the purposes of this video, I intend to fully explain my position on the Sabrina and Walter scene from the Ready to Love DC finale, and I'll also share whether I feel she was right or wrong. And I already know that my position may cause some sparks to fly or create ample opportunities for debate. And to that, I say I welcome all the smoke. So if anyone wants to leave a comment in the comment section below, they want to share their opinion, if they agree or disagree, then feel free and I'll reply to everybody. So let's dive right in. As many of you already know, the scene showing Sabrina informing Walter that she will not be choosing him has caused some arguments, debates, and even intense fellowship amongst fans of the show. From what I've gathered, those folks who were team Sabrina absolutely loved every second of the scene, some treating it like a step towards women empowerment, while others seemingly enjoyed seeing Walter being left with the proverbial egg on his face, while Sabrina walked away with his flowers. And those who were not team Sabrina respected her decision to end her connection with Walter, but they were concerned because Walter appeared to be blindsided by Sabrina's decision, and there's an argument that Sabrina could have handled that situation better. To get things started, I think it's important for me to acknowledge that Sabrina had every right to make whatever decision she wanted to make. Deep down, she felt that she didn't want to continue the process with Walter, and I don't think anyone had an issue with Sabrina's actual decision, despite the opposite being the driving narrative for many people on the Team Sabrina camp. But I feel that there's a right and wrong way to handle situations involving rejection and I think Sabrina handled the situation with Walter the wrong way. Now, of course, on social media, there was intense debate on whether or not Walter was truly blindsided by Sabrina. But I look back several episodes ago when Sabrina invited Sean to meet her friends, and she blindsided Sean by getting her friends to go on attack mode while she sat back quiet and allowed Sean to take the heat for 95% of the interaction. So to me, when Walter claims that he was blindsided, I find that his statements can have some merit to them. Walter did have a recent interview on YouTube, and according to Walter, had he known that Sabrina was feeling the way that she did, he would have respected her decision and still wanted to remain friends with her because their connection was real. But by the end of Sabrina and Walter's scene, you could tell that there was some real tension between the two of them simply by how the situation was handled. And in my opinion, this was partly due to Walter knowing that Sabrina only made it to the end of the show because of him. Let's keep it 100% real on this. I think Sabrina's approach to the ready to love process is what unfortunately led her to have very few connections. Sabrina wanted to be courted, pursued, and made to feel like she was number one, which are pretty reasonable expectations for any woman on the dating scene. But this show is not a reflection of your average dating scene. The show is a competition where Sabrina has nine other women who are trying to do whatever it takes to get a man. A show that allows men to get rid of the women they aren't feeling and vice versa. And from early on, it seemed like Walter was the only one really checking for Sabrina. But Walter also had several other connections with women who he wanted to pursue. In my opinion, Courtney was Walter's top connection due to her youthfulness, beauty, and outlook on sex. But because Courtney only wanted to pursue Cornelius, the rest was history. Walter also wanted to pursue Mumin for the same reason as Courtney, minus the sex of course. But the brown girl squad caused Mumin to sabotage her connection with Walter which left Sabrina as the last one standing. And during the men's elimination, I firmly believe that the men made a pact with one another to protect their solid connections from elimination. Again, let's keep it real. Camille should have gone home by the second or third elimination cycle, but she, Sabrina, and Zadia were constantly saved from elimination due to their limited connections with the men on the show, which left the remaining women available for the chopping block. I think Naeem went rogue from the men and self-eliminated when they decided to get rid of his only connection. And I say all this to say that Walter may have had the look of defeat on his face as Sabrina was rejecting him because in the back of his mind she wouldn't be on the show if it wasn't for him. And if she had let him know how she was feeling much sooner, he would have fully pursued Mumin. I think I spent enough time talking about the scene, but I want to hit on one last note before I end the video. An argument could be made that Sabrina was entitled to feel how she felt about Walter and she didn't owe Walter a heads up about her feelings prior to the choosing day. But for me, I've always lived by the motto, treat others the way you want to be treated. 
And as it relates to the concept of being rejected, I still believe that the treat others the way you want to be treated concept still applies. And judging by Sabrina's reaction in episode 8 to being nominated for possible elimination, I doubt that Walter would have been fine if she felt blindsided by him for not choosing her on choosing day. So again, treat others the way you want to be treated. And if you're cool with being blindsided, then I'm sure it'll help build character. So these are my thoughts on the matter. If you wish to comment on any of the points that I made, feel free to do so. I stick by everything that I said, but I also open the door to learning from different opinions. But later on, I'll be posting my reviews for the new episodes of The Kings of Napa and Our Kind of People. So pray for me. Until next time, stay tuned and stay safe. Peace.